Hi, welcome to Bar Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential equations and solving them. All right, so for this first one, the exponent is only attached to the 5 6 part of this. It's not attached to the 2 thirds. So multiplying this to get um, 10 over 18 or 5 over 9 is not appropriate. What is appropriate is flipping and multiplying. Multiplying both sides by 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. You can make this a fraction if it helps. Um, so that I have 7,500 is equal to 5 sixths to the 3 minus 8 Q. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to rewrite this logarithmically. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say an exponent is a log. So if I want to rewrite this as a log, I start with the exponent. Exponent 3 minus 8 Q equals log, because logs are exponents. The base of the exponent is the base of the log, 5 sixths. And then the 7,500 is the argument. Logs ask the question, base to what exponent equals argument? Base to what exponent equals argument? Okay. Now, not many people have a button on their calculator for change of base like this, for the 5 sixth base log. You have two log buttons. One is natural log and one is log base 10. And this is neither natural log nor base 10. So what we have to do is rewrite this as log of 7,500 divided by log of 5 sixths. So the change of base says the log of the argument over the log of the base allows you to change it to anything you want. I'll do the next problem a little bit differently and you'll see why this works out. So 3 minus 8q is going to equal a negative 48 point nine three nine one. I want to round to three decimal places so I make sure I go out at least four. Um, I'm going to subtract three from both sides so that negative eight Q is equal to negative fifty one point nine three nine one. If you're like me and I'm sitting here using my calculator and I get to here and then I subtract three and I'm like forty eight three is fifty one. Sometimes I don't throw that minus three in the calculator but then when I hit divide to negative eight I am not dividing eight into the right number. So make sure that even if it's something silly like this, you get that minus three in there so that you can then hit divide by eight. Now I'm gonna come over here um, for rounding issues. Q is going to equal 6.4923. The directions say round to three decimal places. So Q is going to equal 6.492. All right. I promised you another approach for this problem. I am again going to start by dividing by five, but I'm also gonna rewrite it in the other order. So I'm gonna say three to the seven n minus three is equal to 113.4. Now, if you've seen my other videos, I usually leave this as a fraction. The reason I'm going to decimal is because it's terminating. I don't write repeating decimals because that will bring error into the problem, but 567 divided by five is exactly 113.4, no rounding needed. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the log of both sides. I'm gonna say log of three to the seven n minus three equals log of 113.4. But logs are exponents, and there's this great rule that says if the argument has an exponent, the exponent can come out front as a multiplier. Now, because it's a binomial, put it in parentheses. 7n minus 3 times log of 3 equals log of 113.4, and then we'll divide by log of 3. If we had done the approach over here where we had written it as log base 3, of 113.4, we would have ended up with log of argument over log of base. You can see right here why that works. We take the log of both sides and then we can divide, leaving us very much in, in line with where we were here. So the two approaches, one does not necessarily take more or less work than the other. It's just the approach that you prefer to take. I'm at the same point and I'm at the same division problem that I'm gonna have to throw into my calculator. All right, so 7n minus 3 
is going to equal 4.30627. Again, I'm rounding to three decimal places, but I'm gonna go out further. I'm gonna add three to both sides so that 7n is equal to 7.30627. Divide by seven. I'm gonna get that n is equal to 1.0437. So n is equal to 1.044 because that seven rounds the three up to a four and I have my final answer. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.